So bringing just this nice little compact suitcase here would be the easy way to travel, to do things, but uh, why do things the easy way? Instead, we can bring that and this right here and this right here. Two big, cumbersome, unwieldy suitcases. That's how I like to get things done. Well, here is the hotel next to the airport I'm staying in. I'm here with my parents and sister, and it's the last night I can hang out with them. So definitely mixed emotions. I mean, I'm going to miss them a lot in person, but uh, hey, we're really lucky. We live in an era now with Skype and the internet, and it's, you know, it's no big deal. I mean, and I'm really lucky too because they've made me feel nothing except how happy they are for me and excited. You know, there's there's no melodrama or anything, so I, I really appreciate that from them. But um, let's take a look at our view out the window. What have we got here? We have got a lovely parking lot and a gas station. Just the kind of scenery I want to admire. hired for a paid fellowship on Awaji Island. I'm a filmmaker, so I'll be shooting videos and uh, working on projects to help the local society. And I feel really lucky and grateful for the opportunity. There's a lot of people on the internet that kind of lead you to believe the only way to move to Japan as a foreigner is as an English teacher. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with being an English teacher, but like I said, a lot of people on the internet like to try to convince you that's the only way to go, and it's simply not true. There's always a way to find an opportunity to do something you love anywhere in the world. So this is Claire. We'll be working together at this fellowship. We both went through a very long <laughs> ordeal with COVID procedures, with uh, customs afterwards, but we made it through. We with... made it. We're here, believe it or not. <laughs> and there's Mario. <laughs> I managed to break the handle on my red suitcase here. I've learned a valuable lesson. It caught right on that door. I tried to force it up. Never force a heavy suitcase. <laughs> So after a 13-hour flight, which went by surprisingly quickly, and many more hours of traveling, finally, here we are in Asakusa, Tokyo, 
I have a lot of fond memories here. The last time I stayed in Tokyo, I also stayed in Asakusa. So I'll only be here for about a week, unfortunately. My company provided the accommodations here, but I'm just so delighted to be back. It's my favorite city in the world. And I've dreamed about being back here every day since I last left. Here we are.